Hey, welcome back to Golf Ball Addict as we continue our top golf balls of the year with our Golf Ball Addict Golf Ball Awards 2022. So, so far I've done my favorite two-piece golf balls. I've done my favorite tour value golf balls. And today we get into the big boys. We get into the tour level golf balls. Now, keep in mind, this list might surprise you a little bit for a couple reasons. One, I swing average speed. So I swing about 93, 92 mile an hour with the driver. The average speed is 91. Uh, that's just like a general, you know, United States male. Um, so I have more of a, an average swing speed. It's not, you know, super fast, like 115 mile an hour. So you're going to see some surprises. If you're a guy who swings really fast, you might be like, well, why isn't the TP5X on there? Well, because it didn't perform that well for me. Um, so my, my golf channel is more toward the average golf crowd. So with that being said, you still might learn something or two, but let's dive into the top five greatest golf balls of 2022 tour line. And keep in mind, again, we've got, if you're, if you're new to this, this is your first one, the other two I've done have been on the basis of performance, design, durability, and value. So, you know, those can offset it. If a golf ball has a terrible value, it might be at the bottom. If it has a great performance, but a bad durability, it might knock it down a few spots. So all these categories combine and they matter. Number five, the Wilson Staff model. I love Wilson golf balls. I love their design. It's super professional. It's super classy. Um, I just love the logo there. The black and white look is just awesome. It has a really thick shine to it, and the numbers really back that up. It has a lot of spin to it. It really bites and grabs greens. It has amazing roll off the putter, and to be honest with you, it pretty much, as far as the durability and the design categories, are near perfect remarks. Now, the only thing that really keeps it at the number five spot, not higher, is its value. It's $49.99 a dozen, and it's hard to find them at a lot of retail stores. Some of them you can, some of them you can, it's hit and miss. So realistically, you're gonna have to go onto their website and buy them, and they might not even ship them to you for free. So there's not much value there. It's not really a lot of ease of access, and that's what put it at the number five spot. Number four. The Mizuno Tour Golf Ball, not the Tour X, but the Tour line. Um, now they have just come out with a brand new model, which I will be reviewing relatively soon. I just got to get my hands on one. But for now, we'll do the old model just to put it in this list. And honestly, this golf ball performed extremely well. I loved the durability on it. I loved, you know, the value of it. Um, it honestly, it wasn't the perfect value by any means, uh, but it actually comes in at a price at like roughly about. $35 a dozen, uh, so you can't beat it. That's pretty much what it was for a long time. They had them discounted, so I think its normal price was about like 40, so even then it wasn't outrageous. And honestly, it was a great performing golf ball. The only thing I wish they would have changed was the design a little bit. Yes, Mizuno's logo is fantastic, but there was no alignment tool on the side, and the alignment tool they did have had uneven numbers where like, you know, Mizuno's a bigger font size than, you know, Tor is, and it really just made it hard to putt the golf ball. I was missing some golf shots, you know, when I was trying to line my ball up, so it did take it down a notch, but still a great golf ball, and I can't wait to see how the new model does. I've actually heard that it's a lot better, so maybe it'll be a little higher in next year's rankings. Number three. The MaxFly Tour X. So listen, the numbers weren't perfect. I'll be honest with you. They were a little roller coastery, but the numbers that hit, hit extremely well. The seven iron, that ball was just coming off so hot. It was like four or five mile an hour above my average, and it had a lot of spin to back it up. So I was actually able to get some backspin with my seven iron while not losing any distance. So it was really refreshing to have that. It performed incredible off the driver, and it had some really good durability, which MaxFly's been doing really well with. Also, MaxFly does have this brand new alignment system on the side and their logo on the front has definitely been modernized. It doesn't look like an old golf ball anymore. So I really had to give them a lot of respect in that regard. Um, really, it was just the performance is the only reason it kept it at number three. If, if, if it had a little bit more consistent numbers and been a little bit more forgiving, it probably would have been number one or number two. Number two, the Snell MTB Black. So the X model is a little firm, I'll be honest with you. I just don't compress it well enough to get much numbers out of it. But as far as that regular black model, I have had extreme success with. This is another golf ball I believe is getting an update in the, in 2023, and they're in the process of doing that switch right now. Um, but overall, amazing performance. The design is really good. Dean Snell, you know, invented the Pro V1 and a bunch of other, you know, golf balls along that line. Uh, he really knows what he's doing, and he just understands golf balls. 
balls. He really does. The value is out of this world. You know, he was selling them for $35 a dozen and he was offering free shipping for the longest time. I don't know if he still does, but he was offering that as well. Um, so $35, that's right there in line with, you know, other golf balls, you know, that are they're in that, you know, more uh, direct to consumer line. Uh, it's really the lowest you can get you know, tour line golf balls for, and honestly, the performance was just honestly just as good as anything you're going to buy for $50 or $53 or somewhere in there. Uh, so it's really impressive. Honorable mentions. Now listen, there are a couple golf balls I do want to shout out. One is going to be the Srixen Z-Star and Z-Star 15. Uh, both these golf balls were really impressive, and I mean, they had a 5 out of 5 performance. Um, and really, honestly, the, the only thing that held them back was their design and durability numbers were just okay. Their durability wasn't great, um, so I had to kind of give it an average score, and the design of the golf ball really was just an average score as well, and that's just what kept it out of the top 5, but it probably is my number 6. The Encore Vero. Honestly, I like the fact that Encore came out with this golf ball. It's a four-piece. It feels really good. It has a lot of spring to it, but the numbers just weren't that impressive, to be honest with you. They were just average, and then the design of the golf ball is average as well. On the alignment tool, you have the different letters that throws a lot of stuff off. And I know if you're new to the channel and you might be thinking, why does this guy care about alignment tools so much? Well, it does help people with putts. I'm a firm believer of that. And why do you think the market has shifted in that way and you're seeing so much innovation toward that? They've proven it works and everyone's trying to be unique in that regard. But here, it just it leaves a lot to be desired. But the durability was really good and the value's off the charts, so I really love that. Uh, but other than that, I mean, you're, you're looking at just an average performing golf ball. Hopefully they do some improvements for next year. Number one the vice pro line honestly this is another one that uh, this is no upset i knew this was going to be my golf ball of the year for tour line from the beginning and when i say vice tour line i do mean their tour line because vice has actually gone a step above they don't just have you know an x model and a soft model they have three different models of tour line golf balls that they all say will compete with the pro v1 the tp5 and honestly the 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 vice soft is what i prefer i love it i can press it a little bit better but if you swing just a little faster maybe 95 96 up to 100 you can go with the vice pro line and it performs just as well it just is a little firmer and then if you swing really fast like 105 110 you can use the vice pro plus all of these golf balls have a variety of different designs. Um, I mean, they have the drip, they have, you know, the special editions, they have the hues, they have the multicolor. Honestly, as far as the design goes, if it could be a six out of five, it would be because all these golf balls just look amazing and every golfer can be honestly pretty uh, uh, personable about what they want. They can kind of choose the design they want. There's a lot of customization in it. And honestly, you can even get your picture on the side. Vice has a really easy tool as far as uh, putting your own designs on golf ball and doing custom orders. Uh, so through the roof, they are the best there. And of course, their durability is really, really good along with their value. 35, it's actually 36 now, but $36 a dozen for the pro line if you go get them retail or if you buy, you know, more, you get them at a discount and you can get up to, I think it's like $28 a dozen now if you buy them in bulk. So honestly, there's not much value. All around an amazing golf ball. Vice has just killed it. And right now they are king of the mountain, at least in my eyes. Guys, as always, keep watching, keep saving, keep learning. If there wasn't a golf ball in the top five and you thought it really should have been, please let me know. Let me know what your favorite golf ball of the year is, um, some of your favorites. And then if there was one maybe I haven't tested yet and, and you thought it should bring attention to it, go ahead and tell me about it. I'd love to get it on the channel and maybe it'll be in the, in the running for next year. Thanks, guys. Again, we'll have another one coming out soon, but I'm going to keep it a secret as far as what it's going to be. But it'll be something else as far as a top five for what I've done for this year. So stay tuned.